Hey everyone, Mr. Montgomery again, and we're today we're doing lesson 4-6, and we're on page 188 in our Robot and Turtle books. So if you don't have this page open, pause the video, get that Robot Turtle book open, and then hit play. Now today, you might really enjoy what we're doing, because we're just doing more of working with related facts, you know, using addition to help solve subtraction, and vice versa. So this, I, I actually really, really like this uh, first activity that they gave us because all we're doing is just showing how well we know related facts by finding the matching fact. Okay? <laughs> I mean, it doesn't get better than this. Okay, maybe it does. But still, right now, I'm super psyched about this. All right. So what we have to do is look at the first number sentence, okay? We have 16 minus 9. And then we're going to look down this whole column of addition facts that will give us the answer we need, and we're just going to draw a line to it. We're just going to draw a line. That's it. I mean, how easy and fun is that? I used to love stuff like this. So I'm going to give you guys a, uh, a little hint about the most efficient way to do this. And by efficient, I mean you will not waste all your time doing this one activity. So the first thing we need to do is find the big number. We have the big number over here in our subtraction facts, right? We go over to our addition fact, we find that that same big number. We have 16, so we need to find what has the 16. And I don't see any 16s yet, and then BAM! We found it. We found it in the last addition sentence. And we just check to make sure that the other number matches up. So 16 on both, yep. And then we have a 9 up here, so 16 is good. Now we need to make sure they both have a 9. Yeah, there's a 9 down here too. So if they both have 16 and 9, then they have to be related facts. Because the answer will be this one number that we are missing. So we can just write in a 7. We found a related fact. Let's do the next one. 17 minus 8. Again, the key is to find the big number, which is 17. So we go to our, our addition sentences. And, okay, I think I found it right here. There's a 17. We need to make sure the other numbers match up, though. So 17 is good. Check. Now we need to make sure they both have an 8. Yup, there's an 8 there. Check. So these must be related facts. And our missing number is 9. That's all there is to it. I'm going to let you guys try the next one. We have 18 minus 9. Our big number is 18. Go ahead, find the related fact, and write, draw a line, and miss, write in the missing number. I'm sure you guys are going to do this super fast. Alright, are you done? I'm, I have a feeling you guys are done this one already. If I didn't give you enough time, just pause the video. That's why we have the videos. So you just pause it whenever you need to and take your time. So, let's see. 18 minus 9. Our big number is 18. And look at that. We have the 18 right away. Okay. And uh, so 18 is good. Check. Now we need a 9. Hmm. Is there a 9? Why, yes, there is. Check. Uh... So that means that they have to be related. They have two numbers in common. That third number will be the answer. I promise you. If you don't believe me, you can check any number line, any method that we've learned. Double, triple check if you want. And I promise you, you will get that same answer. So our last number is 9. So 9 is our answer. Plus, um, it's a doubles fact. So if you really know your doubles facts, You'll say, okay, 18 minus 9, well, it has to be 9, because 9 plus 9 is 18, and vice versa, you know. All, that whole spiel of knowing doubles facts like a pro, uh, you guys will get there. Don't worry, if you're not there yet, you will get there. Trust me. Just takes lots of practice, that's all. Okay, next one, I'm going to have you guys try this one on your own, too. Our big number 16, it's 16 minus 7. Find the related fact.
All right. And if you're done, we're going to go over it. If not, pause and take your time. You know? Okay, so 16 by 7. We have to find that big number 16. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, wait a minute. We used this one before. Well, let's see if it'll work for this one. They both have 16. Chuck. Uh, it's a minus 7. So do they both have 7? Yes, they do. Check. So they must be related. And our last number is 9. Okay, guys. Our last one that we're working on for this page. 17 minus 9. Big number is 17. Go find that related fact. All right, if you're not done, pause the video. If you are, let's go over it. Let's check your work here. 17 minus 9. Well, we got to find that 17. And wait a minute. We used this one before, too. Well, let's see if it works. Okay, they both have 17, so check. And we need a 9. Yeah, they both have a 9 also. Double check. So they have to be related. And our missing number is 8, because it's the only one we haven't checked off. So, 8 is the missing number. Or you can say missing part. Alright, so we will be working a lot with related facts again today. I really love doing stuff like this. I wouldn't mind making this a full class activity one day. That would be so much fun. Um, but let's go to the next page. We're going to turn to page 182. And we are going to see what they have in store for us. So here's page 182, and maybe you're thinking, uh, this doesn't look quite like my page, and um, yeah, it's not going to. I kind of erased a lot of it, so I could put this fancy number line that is very, very crooked, um, but that's okay. Number lines don't have to be perfect, as long as the numbers are on there, you can always find your answer. Okay, now as always, I kind of erased number one, so we could go through it together, just so I can refresh your minds really quick. Because instead of writing them from left to right, like over here, they wrote them from top to bottom. And I know that can really throw us off sometimes. But I am going through number one just to re-explain something. Just remember this first number that we see. Just like if we were to see this written from left to right, it would be 9 plus blank equals 14. That's all this really is, except it just looks a little different. So this first number, right, is our top number. That is our jumps. So this first number, our top number, is our start. Right? We have our start number. Just like we do over here. This is our start number. Okay, and then we're missing our jumps. This is our jump number, the second one. Just like over here, this is our jump number. And then our bottom one is our end number on the number line. And this is our end. Same thing. Okay? So now you see that that top number is just like having our start number. The blank is our missing jump number. And the 14 is our ending number, our total. So that should make things a lot easier for you when you look at them. Hopefully it just kind of sticks out a little bit easier. So to solve something like this, you just put a dot on your start number, right, 9. And then a dot on our end number, which is 14. And then we just count the jumps. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. 5 jumps. If you don't remember how many jumps, count the, the bumps. That's it. So 5 was our answer, so we write 5 in the missing part here. And just remember, since they're related facts, the answer must go down at the bottom of the subtraction sentence, because they're related. They both have 9, right? Yep. They both have 14? <laughs> yes, they do. So they have to both have a 5 as well. All right? And I'm so happy that we have a page like this, because it gives us tons of practice problems, and I love that. The more, the better. So go ahead, do number two on your own. 
I'll give you guys a quick couple seconds and then we'll go over it together. Okay, if you're not done number two, pause the video, take your time with it, all right? But if you are done, we're going to go over it together. All right, so again, we have our start number, right, which is 10. That's our start. Put a dot on 10. And then we're missing our jump number, but we have our ending number. So we put a dot on the end number, which is 20. And all you do is count the jumps, guys. One, two, three. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I stop and I just think about how many jumps that was. I counted it out loud, so I already know it took me ten jumps. If you drew your jumps, you can just count the, the bumps. That's all there is to it. And there's ten bumps. So our missing number here is ten. Let me just clean that up a little bit. So ten is our missing number. And remember, they are related facts because they both have 20. Yep. They both have a 10. Absolutely. So they must both have to have another 10 because they're related facts. They have all the same numbers. Okay, now I'm going to have you guys do two problems at the same time because I feel like if you're doing number two okay, well, then you should be able to do number three and number four pretty quick. I have a feeling you guys are just kind of catching on. So go ahead, do number three, do number four. If you don't have a number line with you, you can just use the one on the screen, but please do not draw your jumps on your computer screen. You'll ruin it. We don't want that. So go ahead, try number three and four, and then we're going to go over it together. Okay, so if you're still working on problems three and four, pause the video and take your time. Everyone else, let's go over your work and make sure you have the correct answers. Okay, so we have our start number, right? Seven. That is our start. And we have our ending number, which is 11. So we put a dot on seven, put a dot on 11, and just count how many jumps it takes. One, two, three, and four. So, 7 plus 4 will give us 11. And since they both have 11, right? Check, check. They both have a 7. Check, check. This 4 has to go over here because they are related facts. And for number 4 here, we have our start number, which is 8. We have our ending number, which is 13. So, I put a dot on 8. I put a dot on 13, and now I just count my jumps. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So now I know that 8 plus 5 will give us 13. It says they both have a 13, right? Check, check. They both have an 8. Check, check. The 5 has to also be the answer for 13 minus 8, because they're in the same fact family. Okay, now... Let's go to page 183. I'm going to explain your independent assignment. All right, everyone, here is page 183. And you're probably thinking, this looks way different than what we were doing. And it absolutely does. So, 
what I'm going to tell you guys here is if you don't like using addition to help you subtract, you don't have to use it. If you know how to subtract using just a number line, that's absolutely fine. You can subtract that way if you like. But if you would like to have a little help getting started with the setting up how to do the addition one, remember it's a blank here. You put the big number at the bottom, 15, and the small number up top, 8. So 8 plus blank will give us 15. All right, so, but if you don't like doing that, you can just use a regular number line and jump backwards. We've, we already learned that, and you are more than welcome to use that method. But I'll set up a couple of these to help you guys out a little bit. So 9 plus blank will give us 18. And then we have 9 plus blank will give us 13. And then same thing over here, guys. This is the last one I'm going to do for you. 2 plus blank will give us 11. And of course, if using a number line helps, you can use a number line. You don't have to use the addition idea if you don't like it. So after you finish this, there will be a worksheet on the back table for you to practice on, and I will collect that worksheet. All right. So hopefully this isn't too difficult. If you have any questions, please let me know. But just raise your hand. Don't interrupt if I'm in the middle of teaching, please. Uh, but that's it. So I will see you guys next time, and I hope you all have a great day as always.